What's happening, everybody? It is I. I'm out and about. I had to take, make a little pit stop. Brother had to run a little errand, so I'm here. Run a fire? You don't eat no fire. Poop! That bitch better not have screwed me. Ah. Diablo! Got a couple of dollar items off the old uh, Taco Bell menu. They removed a few items. Cause I remember they used to have like a potato, a beef and potato taco for a buck, and they didn't have that anymore. They had a cheesy bean and rice, and the old standby, the Frito Burrito. I know I got a cheesy bean and rice, and that's what this is. What the hell was that I ate? I just ate. I thought that was it. They got a little skimpy on them Fritos, man. So, there's no crunch in here. This must be the cheesy bean and rice. But no. This is definitely it. Now, my mama raised an ugly baby, not a stupid baby, so I don't get my drinks at Taco Bell. Taco Bell likes to charge you two bucks for a drink. It's all about corner stores, Valero Market, who apparently sold them, them uh, sold themselves, sold themselves, yeah, and sold out to uh, Circle K. I didn't even know Circle K was still in business. So there's been some changes there as well, but now all the uh, sodas are 79 cents, except for these. These are $1.29, but you can refill them for 79 cents. But I remember to bring my damn cup with me, and I didn't, so my brother kind of reamed me for that one. Not bad. No meat in it. Nice little vegan treat, I guess. Got the uh, diet lemonade with strawberry flavoring in it. They have those Coke machines there that'll uh, pretty much mix up anything you want. You get a Coke, you can add cherry flavor to it, vanilla flavor, or, uh, but it's not like the ones, it's not like the regular deal, it's like that big red box, I almost feel like I'm going to rent a movie, that would be kind of cool, to spend a snack, a drink, and a movie in the same box, I'd, I'd try it. I'm going to take the time right now to thank each and every one of you for the kind words, the, the offering of prayer, the good vibes that you've been sending this, this way for my mother. She is uh, one day at a time, you know, she's, she's doing a little bit better but it's slow going. Um, today I think they're going to give her her third dialysis treatment. This isn't a lifetime thing as far as I know. They're just trying to clean out her blood and stuff because her kidneys had not been working for a while. So, uh, so they're trying to clean that out and give her, her kidneys a chance to kind of like kick back in and, and operate the way they're supposed to. So, it's slow going. I don't know if they're going to switch her to being like an outpatient. 
and never doing dialysis, you know, having to come in do dialysis and leave, <clears throat> or they're going to just do dialysis, dialysis while she's in the hospital, I'm not sure. They haven't really said. But, uh, that's what's going on with her, and I just want to say I appreciate everybody who, um, who sent kind words, who have sent me messages saying, you know, that they hope my mom's doing better. And I appreciate that. And I show her these messages, and it really lifts her spirits. So, thank you, one and all. Um, as for me, eh, you know, same old, same old. I hope I don't bore anybody with all my posts with my uh, with my friend Claudia. I, I miss her immensely. Okay. There's days where I'm just like, ah, you know, Claudia would like this. You know, I go out, do something. Yeah, I wish Claudia was here. And then there's days where I'm just like incapacitated. Like, I don't want to do anything because Claudia's not there. So, it's, I'm sure it's a process. I've just, I've never experienced loss at this level before. Um, This, this is like a whole new experience for me, and uh, it's kind of kind of weird and offsetting. It's um, it's taking some getting used to, and I say that uh, I, I I don't want to say uh, uh, getting used to because it's, I don't think this is something I'm ever going to get used to. I mean, I'm, I've accepted the fact that she's gone. I'm not delusional. I don't, I don't keep, you know, hanging on my back porch saying, "Come back to me," and you know, I, I know that's not happening, man. I'm not, I'm not a mental case. I just really, really wish, in the whole grand scheme of things, I hear of people like beating that disease and. getting better and I've seen it happen so I just wish that could have been extended to her she was a lot braver about it than I was really towards the end she was like very accepting of the fact that things may not go the way we want them to and if so then there's a reason for it and I, I didn't want to hear it I was like hey, there's no reason good enough but perhaps there is, and I just don't want to. I don't want to accept it. But uh, yeah, I, I just said all that basically to say, you know, sometimes I will throw up a lot of random pictures of her and I. I'll find them where I can, and, and I'll put them up there. She was like one of the best things that ever happened to me, you know. And it was such a short time. It could have been a much longer time. We could have had a lot more time together if things had been different, because we'd known each other at least, what, nine, ten years before we started hanging out. It was just a long gap of time where we didn't really talk, so that's a shame. It's a real shame. But um, I always cherish the memories, man, you know. People who knew her, people who met her, knew she was she was genuine. She was she was a good person. So, I mean, the bottom line is, would I would I have wanted her to to stay only if she was going to get better, only if she was going to be you know healed of this of this affliction? I didn't want her staying around suffering, hurting, lost, scared. Uh, the fear was there because her, her mind, her brain was being invaded by cancer and she, a lot of times she would be very confused, she wouldn't know where she was, and that's, that's no way to live, you know? So if I couldn't have her back whole and complete, if, if she couldn't live the life that she wanted to live, then I guess I'm thankful that when she 
did go, she went very peacefully. So it's hard to say that I'm grateful for that. It's hard to say I'm thankful. I'm not thankful that she's gone, but I'm thankful that if she had to go, that's the way I would want her to go, peacefully, quietly. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so that's that. I don't wanna I don't wanna darken anybody's day. Um Other than that, not much going on, guys. I keep trying to watch movies and I keep getting myself distracted. movie I have in my uh, my player right now is uh, Lung One. And I announced that I was going to watch that. And since that day, I've been watching like, bits and pieces of it because I either doze off or I, I, I start watching it way too late. So... But during the day, it's so hot, I can't really concentrate on anything anyway, so it, it's kind of a weird position I'm in. Hopefully, I can get it together and like do like a, a binge-watching session of just back-to-back -back movies. I've got so many that I want to watch, and I haven't gotten around to it yet. I still haven't done the live video feed on Facebook. I thought about doing it today, but the way the camera's set up, I wouldn't be able to read anybody's comments or answer anybody, really. I mean, it's kind of far away. I can't really see the screen all that well. It's a little dark. So, yeah. I don't know if, if I'll ever do the live version unless maybe I'm like in a more closed space. I got this sitting on the dashboard of the car. And according to the dashboard thermometer, it is 101 degrees. It's ridiculous. I know August is only going to get hotter. So. Ugh. Fall will be coming soon, and we got some events coming up, like uh, Rockula is coming to San Antonio, and it's coming to the hotel that I used to live right next door to, which would have been awesome to go to that, having lived downtown, but it didn't work out that way. Um, what else? Oh, Rockula is hosting a free event in August, where I can actually meet a person that I missed at uh, at MonsterCon, um, McMinn from uh, I forgot her first name, but Terry McMinn. I, I don't remember McMinn something. Um, the girl who gets dragged back into the house in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've got a little Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection going, and from the original, I only have two people. In the original, I only have a. Uh, Gunnar Hansen and oh, I always forget this guy's name. Son of a bitch. His name's right there. Ugh, I'm losing my mind. Too many diet sodas. <laughs> the hitchhiker. You know him. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and I'm looking for opportunities to meet like John Dugan, Grandpa. I wanna wanna meet him. And uh, I could have met, uh, what's his name? He was the truck driver, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I only have one person from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Chop Top. Uh, I can't remember names. Jesus, my, my brains are going. <clears throat> These are names that I, I've, I've spoken of many, many times. I met them, I got to hang out with them, not hang out with them, but I met them, I got just their autograph and stuff. 
and I talk about them immensely and now all of a sudden I'm drawing a complete and total blank on the names. Shit like that gets scary. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I forget what I'm saying while I'm saying it. I drift off. I'll be saying something, I'll pause, I'll start saying it. I'm like, what was I talking about? This, it's going. I'm, I'm, it's like the early signs of Alzheimer's or something. Anyways, you guys know. Okay, I don't, I'm not worried. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I have those pictures, and I'd like to add some more to the collection. There's, you know, some, sadly, that I won't be able to add. But that's okay. That's all right. I'm kind of rambling now. This, this is a point in the day where I'm kind of like, bah, nothing's really going on. So I better close it down now. I don't, I'm don't. i not trying to bore anybody, really. I just, just thought I'd shoot a video and post it. Random video. So, thanks guys. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you all soon. I'm sorry I didn't remember the names. I'm kind of embarrassed by that right now. But, um, you guys take it. Mosley! Chop Top! Mosley! There's one. Ah. I'll just quit while I'm ahead. Take care, guys.